Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap In. These aren't watch reviews, they're just quick. They're just a quick wristwatch check of the day with a strap pairing just to show the uh, combination, give some idea of what a watch could potentially look like or uh, alternatively look like on uh, different strap options. It's just for fun. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, this is uh, the second hour memoir this is obviously the red dial version and uh really cool uh art deco style of uh rectangular watch um yeah it's been so far it's been running pretty good um uh it's it is a quartz movement but you know um for me being a primarily a dress watch it's something that i don't usually wear a heck of a lot to be honest um I, I think that's perfectly fine just to have a, uh, you know, keep the cost down, um, you know, something that, you know, is, is just ready to go once you decide, uh, or once I decide I want to uh, wear it. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's reliable uh, and also definitely helps keep the watch thin as possible. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like some sort of Swiss Ronda movement in here. Um, so there is a Swiss movement, uh, nonetheless, if it's quartz, uh, what the specific movement is, I forget, I'm sure it's on the website. Uh, but anyways, it's not really a review. Again, this is just a, a quick a wristwatch check just to show the pairing. And this is a strap that I had, uh, uh, ordered from, uh, sorry, just trying to get a little dust off of there. Um, this is a strap that I ordered from a company, a brand called, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Handin. I should ask them how exactly they should be pronounced so that uh, uh, when I do talk, talk about it, I can see it <laughs> uh, correctly if I haven't been. It's spelled H-A-N-D-D-N. Uh, yeah, kind of unusual. But uh, they do a lot of uh, bespoke uh, watch straps. And then they also have some that are ready-made. Um, well, sort of like I guess some pre uh some designs that are uh, kind of uh, uh, predetermined. I guess <laughs> it's, it's already set in the catalog, um, but they do still, as far as I understand, it, uh, have to uh, make these uh, to order. Um, and so what we have here is their tricolor uh, burgundy strap, and it's basically it's not actually three colors, and uh, rather three bands of color i guess uh the outer portion is black that's uh, a little bit uh i guess a thinner length or stripe of a uh, 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 section of black on the outer edges and then the main uh part in the middle the larger color is the burgundy part and it does have like matching burgundy um uh i guess it will be contrast stitching in the black area you can see here and uh it's actually overall the quality is quite nice i believe this is epson leather um you can have a choice of no uh hardware or buckle maybe you have your own uh i don't know why you would need that <laughs> most people don't usually have a buckle lying around but you have the option you don't have to get the buckle but if you do uh at least comes in stainless steel in a brushed or full polish if i recall correctly um yeah and uh and i got that with the brush because there actually is brushing on this watch it's really fine on the sides and the flanks here and in general i think it's easier to maintain a, a brush finish than a high polish one and uh yeah i think it works overall you know it's kind of rectangular uh it's not really rounded so that kind of matches uh you know um this shape general shape uh pretty good and there we go i think i was going for uh, when I bought this watch, I don't know if it's, I, I was thinking about it and then I was also simultaneously thinking about, okay, what can I pair the strap options uh, with this uh, uh, with? And, uh, you know, the one that, the strap that comes on uh, is like a pretty bright red color. It, it matches the dial pretty good. Um, has white contrast stitching, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah, but it's a bit strong uh uh it's not a look that i i think i would see myself putting together all that often but i'm, I'm glad to have it it's a it was a decent leather uh 
it is a decent uh, leather strap that it comes with but definitely wanted to try uh, other things uh, not only to uh, mainly actually to make it more casual uh, but sometimes uh, some other dress-up options and I would categorize this as maybe more of a, a casual le leather strap option for this watch um, it's not you know you know it's not bright or anything but still having the contrast colors uh, you know well alternating colors at least black and burgundy and black here um, does uh, lend itself to being I think a little bit more playful and less formal than something that's just one plain color and, and no contrast dishing for example um, and uh, I wanted to also do what I can to match the watch, but not entirely, exactly. So I chose like a reddish color in a in a darker shade, which is this burgundy. And uh, it's something that I think I've seen, like say, for instance, uh, the JLC uh, Reversal uh, Small Seconds Tribute. And they might have one that's not a Small Seconds as well with a red dial. But I've seen those paired with like a, like a, uh, um, slightly darker than the shade of the dial color so like a either a dark brown or dark burgundy or or uh some so something like that and i figured that would be a good thing it, it matches but uh not overly and uh it it's darker so that it lets the uh the red of the the dial that's the main attraction here really to still pop out and uh the black kind of tones it down further uh along the flanks and um yeah, I think, I think it works pretty nicely. And there you go. Just give it a couple more angles here. And I don't have much else to say to that other than if you follow my channel and have watched the other, if you didn't, maybe you just watched the videos. Uh, the When I unboxed these straps, uh, I had a pair. Uh, I had this color and then one other one. But uh, the other one was fine. It was an all yellow one that was for my... Uh, uh, Tag Hoyer Carrera, uh, Montreal, and that was pretty stunning on that. A nice bright yellow uh, that matches the yellow on that watch. And uh, yeah, I was up and meaning to get that one for a while. And then when I got this one, unfortunately, the black stripes uh, on the edges uh, were a little off. They didn't one side didn't match the other, and uh, and you can definitely see like the spacing between, um, you know, the. Uh, uh, the spacing between uh, one side versus the other was uh, pretty obviously different. Um, it was like a like the black really went out of a, uh, of alignment, and uh, it like you know, one side was just like the black was definitely thicker uh, than the other side. But this one, I put it up to each other. Uh, they definitely match uh, a lot more, and so uh, there we go. Um, yeah. And they were, uh, I'll say they were quick to respond as soon as I got the, the strap and uh, I sent the email and some pictures out. They pretty much contacted me back and they said they were happy to to, uh, to go ahead and try to uh, uh, remake it and uh, give me a, a new one. So I didn't have to send anything back like the old one. I mean, it wasn't done completely right anyway. So what were they going to do with it? So, uh, yeah. And then uh, they would let me know that, uh, you know, once it's done, they get it out to me. But... <coughs> Uh, though communication was good, they didn't actually tell me that they had actually sent out the, the strap that already had been done. And the next thing I know, uh, basically exactly a week later, uh, I got the new strap. And uh, here it is. And it was, you know, uh, the problem that I had uh, was uh, fixed. And that was that. And so I appreciate the, the timely, um, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, customer service and, and, uh, and just... Uh, a response to uh, you know get me a product that I would be more satisfied with and uh, you know just make it right and so, yeah so I would say uh, um, uh, pretty good uh, with uh, the brand Handen uh, they are apparently based I think in Vietnam but uh, there wasn't any communication issues that I have uh, typing it up in English and, and whatnot so there we go anyways uh, that's about it Got to go on with my uh, day here. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your watches.